Hello. Well, today I want to talk about a film that is 76 years old, though <clears throat> uh, advertised as being 75 um, this year for uh, re-release, though I think that's because they didn't do it really last year. I don't recall it being advertised much, though, uh, for a theatrical re-release, but it is playing in theaters now, or at least played, uh, at least by the time you've seen this. Um, and that film is It's a Wonderful Life, um, from 1946. It is a classic film, you know, George Bailey, played by, uh, James Stewart with Donna Reed as Mary, his wife, and uh, Lionel Barrymore as Mr. Potter, the villain of the film. And, um, you know, this is a very, um, it's a film, you know, obviously that has been parodied in various ways. Uh, uh, specifically, you know, the I Wish I Was Never Born and how, you know, it, uh, George uh, wishes he, uh, that he wasn't born. And so... Uh, his guardian angel is there and shows him what it would be like if he wasn't born and you know over the course of the film we see his life and how you know he was always a good person saved his brother from drowning as a result that uh, basically made like deaf in like one ear or well, mostly deaf at least and uh, like, it, like, it causes, like a trick ear like he's not able to really hear it's like in a way he kind of can but not very well and so you know because of that and because of uh going into the like really cold water because he froze like on the ice and uh, fell through the ice in the water and wasn't able to really swim very well he went and got him um and basically uh you know, he wanted to do so many things. He wanted to travel the world and see all these uh, amazing things and do stuff. But, you know, life happens as it does. And he wasn't able to do much of any of that stuff. And so, you know, he helps his family business. Uh, his parents and just, you know, he does what he can and just uh, helps out and Overall, is a good person. And then we see what would it be like if he didn't exist, like if he wasn't born. You know, his brother would have died. Uh, this is what would have happened to some of his relatives. And you know, what would happen to the woman he married? You know, she'd be a very shy and timid uh, librarian. And uh, yeah, it's you know, and in a way, it also kind of gets depressing pr prior to him wanting to. Uh, you know, because he also tries to kill himself, you know, a lot of things just aren't going the way he wanted or hoped, and so he feels as if there's nothing uh, going for him, like uh, the warrant is being called out for his arrest, and how uh, <clears throat> you know, he, uh, because money is supposed to have uh, this business, Brecco loan, uh, was mistakenly left with Mr. Potter, who then pocketed the money, and with uh, the, the business would you know, have become bankrupt, and then <clears throat> it would be George's fault, and so he'd go to prison and or jail and all that stuff, and so... But of course, by the end of the whole film, it all uh, gets wrapped up neatly. But you know, it, it was—it's quite depressing for a for a good while. You know, George's really angry and upset, and just you know, things just aren't going well. You know, aren't going the way he hoped and wanted, and so he's upset. He's depressed, and just feels like there's not much left for him to live for and before he goes through with killing himself his guardian angel uh, uh, 
falls into the water and then he saves him and yeah it's just it's it's, it's a very good film Frank Capra film and um James Stewart um, said that this is a uh, this was his favorite film he ever made um uh, this film was nominated for many Academy Awards, didn't win any. Um, I am saying, you know, on the back here, 1947, so maybe it's sort of like Casablanca. Maybe this film is like Casablanca in that, uh, you know, that film came out, had a one release in 1942, but it became, it came out uh, nationally and perhaps even throughout the world in some parts uh, in 43 um, but you know had it that one big premiere in 42 or this, as this film had its like I guess one premiere in 46 before being released uh, widely in 1947 which would make sense as to why the 75th anniversary of this film was being celebrated this year as opposed to last year but so I just noticed that here um, but yeah uh, the film is very good um, not my favorite uh, Christmas film but it's still very good but it's one of those it's one of these films that are you know for a good portion of the film it doesn't exactly take place on Christmas. I mean, we do see a lot of winter and stuff uh, throughout the film, but really by the end of the film and also even prior to the end um, is when Christmas happens, you know, the Christmas stuff happens. And so, you know, and this film really highlights like the value of like family and all the things that are important to people uh, as opposed to like materialistic things which as time has gone on that seems to be a big thing with Christmas not just with films but just in general overall it seems um, which I think is a disappointment with the Christmas anymore you know when you look at what Christmas is supposed to be about and then <clears throat> what the overall <laughs> thing with Christmas is, you know, of course there's people who love Christmas as a holiday and love it for all those reasons of, you know, you know celebrating Jesus' birth and uh, family and coming together and all that good stuff, but there's all, also those who are for just the presence of it all, and that's just quite sad. But this is a film that is uh, very good. Um, I don't have the Blu-ray. Um, I wanted to for a while, but and then I also wanted to get the um, the 4K. Uh, having for whatever reason, there is a Blu-ray on that. But the Blu-ray, for some reason, just has uh, the colored version, which this does too. You know, it's two discs, so like this one has the black and white, and disc two has the. Uh, uh, colored version which I don't know I don't think that it really looks all that good uh, personally um, the whole colorization of old uh, films I've, I, I've, I've never really been that big of a fan of and I know there's other people who <clears throat> aren't fond of that either um, <clears throat> I mean I guess it's kind of cool that you have that as an option um, but I don't know, I, I, I'm kind of <laughs> surprised that you don't get that option for, on um, both, for like 4K, on um, like a 4K Blu-ray disc, you can watch it on both the black and white, white and color version, and same with the normal Blu-ray, so whatever you wanted to put in, there you go, and I believe the uh, special features are all on the Blu-ray disc, so there might be some who might think that they want to not only watch the movie, but also watch uh, the special features right after it so 
you know, I think be, having the ability to watch uh, either version on the discs would be a, uh, would have been a better uh, thing to do, but I don't know. Uh, that came out some years ago. Um, I don't know if there's a brand new 4K version uh, of it. I wouldn't think so, but I mean, you never know. Sometimes they like to re-release stuff every so often for any new format. Um, if they do have a Blu-ray di uh, disc with it, perhaps they've changed it so you can now watch the film in black and white on the normal Blu-ray disc, in addition to watching the color on the 4K disc, uh, as well as the black and white. I think that would have been better, especially since for Blu-ray discs, you're able to have more memory and so in a way you, there is no reason not to have both on both versions on one disc for the normal blu-ray and then for the 4k blu-ray for those who might want to watch it in 4k and then watch the cut watch it in color um, i know that the color version of course as i've already illustrated many people aren't fond of that but you never know who knows maybe in 4K, maybe the color version looks pretty decent. I don't know. <laughs> um, again, I only have it on DVD. Um, this is a pretty good DVD. I mean, uh, as the making of It's a Wonderful Life, Personal Remembrance, a tribute to Frank Capra, narrated by his son, Frank Capra Jr., and the theatrical trailer. And I believe for the Blu-ray release, as well as the 4K Blu-ray release, these are all the same special features. I don't recall there being any kind of major uh, uh, special features added to <clears throat> any future release. It's like this is these are like the best sort of like special features to have, and so they kept those. So if, if anything else, it's like they're that's at least a good thing. They don't remove stuff. Of course, that's from Paramount, so. You would hope they wouldn't, but then again, you never know. Sometimes some uh, uh, you know some 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 uh, companies do that. They take away a bunch of stuff and leave just a, a few. Uh, whereas people such as myself, when you go buy the upgrade, they're just kind of like. Uh, where's the where's all this other stuff or you know as I said with uh, when I got a Reservoir Dogs for 4k and how you know I complained about the blu-ray uh, with the special lack of special features compared to the DVDs and um, anything with the 4k release there was even something removed which was a bit of a disappointment but you know, hey, maybe one day I will up, get the upgrade out to like uh, Blu-ray or 4K Blu-ray, whatever. And, uh, you know, perhaps uh, that uh, upgrade will be completely worth it. I don't know. Uh, but we can hope, I guess. Uh, at least I can. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, that's all I really have for you. Uh, today it's a shorter video thankfully uh, I'll have a video on Christmas Day my favorite Christmas film and a sequel to it so there's all that um, though first uh, before I go um, one second You can uh, get my books, um, The Wandering Sheriff, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, Downtime and Work Conversations, which are like three stories in one. Uh, they were originally short stories, but when reformatting them to, to fit better so that the words were more, were a lot bigger, yeah, things got condensed and or not necessarily condensed, but just sort of like expanded. And well, otherwise, it would have been like this. Fairly small. Uh, 
stuff. And I did uh, go and uh, look about this uh, or read formatted this for uh, paperback and um, uh, hardcover. But yeah, this is a. Uh, for some reason, I guess, it doesn't want to do that, so, I don't know why, I just, up, you know, I'd like to upgrade, uh, update the manuscript for it, but it just doesn't want to do anything, I mean, I know there's other ways, like, of uh, doing, uh, versions and such, but whatever, I don't know, this was my first book at Western, so, just leave it as is, I guess, and these are three stories, I have where people just talk, talk about whatever, and um, talk about yeah, things that they're interested in, you know, be that at work or just stuff in general that comes to my mind. First story is about people talking about movies. And then the second is about a detective talking about uh, somebody who's been arrested and just talking about the, that criminal and all that stuff about what they may or may not know about something and then talking to other people like their spouse and their colleagues and then the last one's people in a grocery store talk about stuff uh, up around the store and other things that interest them such as the incompetence of their boss so you know these uh you can look up uh, on Amazon. Uh, they're available on Amazon. And I think this is about 10 bucks. And this is uh, I forget exactly how much this is. It's a little more. But this is my second book. So I just thought I could increase it a little bit. But I don't recall how much exactly offhand but this is about 10 bucks for sure i know that and you can get them in hardback too or hardcover those are more expensive but yeah i don't really advertise these too much um and i probably should do that way more and though on my on my channel you can probably get you can see all that there about uh uh what the prices are and stuff so there you go uh but yeah i wanted to talk about this uh, excellent film but also sort of promote my own writing i am writing something else in the process at rise of now but you know i want to talk about that until it's all done so until then uh i guess just be on the just wait, I guess, if you've read these and like them. Just wait, I guess. And so, yeah, um, of course, you could also get these in ebook form. So, you know, like, I think three to five bucks, I believe. Again, the, the video on my channel is better at showing it because it's been a while since I've even looked at the prices. I don't really change those all but you know whatever anyway uh sorry for the bit of a rambling but i hope you, you don't mind this and uh yeah i hope you're all doing well hope all of you are having a great day and hope you'll have a great weekend holiday weekend so if you celebrate christmas i hope you're enjoying it this weekend and this week i guess even uh if you celebrate a hanukkah hope you had a great Hanukkah, and yeah, just whatever holiday <laughs> is here <laughs> this time of year. You know, uh, it seems like I I hear oh, there's like Kwanzaa, uh, and I, I think there was some other holiday. I don't know, but it seems like there's a bunch of stuff being celebrated this time of year. So I guess whatever you celebrate, if anything, around this time of year. Hope your holiday season is good, and I hope all of you are having a great day. Hope you're all having a great weekend, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.